Ahoy, fellow Vita comrades, and welcome! Ever since I modified my first black PSP with white buttons and joystick, I was amazed by its sheer beauty and I felt uh, my PS Vita 1000 deserves the same treatment and that's exactly what the primary purpose of this video is, to modify and enhance my PS Vita 1000 appearance. There are no new ports in this episode, but hey, wait, don't click away yet, make sure to subscribe first and stay tuned because there is plenty of quality content coming your way. And now let's dive right into the mod. Quick disclaimer first, this is not a tutorial, but I'll leave some useful links down below. So where do we begin? Clearly we gotta begin with ordering all the necessary parts. First the white buttons, I couldn't find much at the eBay or Amazon, I found like one black d-pad on the eBay so I had to move to the next best thing, Aliexpress. The supply is much better in there, prices are also acceptable. So I completed my order, D-pad 2 quid, action buttons 316, plus shipping like 2 quid, so about 7 pounds altogether. And I've received it in 2 weeks time, from China to the UK, so pretty good. I couldn't find any white start, select and PS buttons for 1000 model, but I'm keeping my eyes wide open. And I also ordered these white replacement joystick caps, 2 for 5 quid, with free shipping. I could have chipped out and put there just some white rubber covers, but that's not what I aimed for. I wanted to put there these exact ones, with light grey rubber on the inside and white plastic on the outside. Now disassembly. I removed 4 screws from the rear, 2 from the top, 2 from the bottom, and then carefully pried the Vita open while unclipping the battery and rear touchpad connectors. Then I moved to the right side buttons motherboard unclipped free ribbon cables and carefully lifted that up. If you wanna see detailed disassembly I will leave the link for my older screen replacement video where the procedure is identical. Now we need to swap the action buttons, that's pretty easy, but the joystick swap uh, would be a bit more trickier. I haven't done it yet so I was a bit concerned. I looked up some YouTube videos to guide me on this journey and I found a very good one from a friend of ours, Andexel. He is a great enthusiast for all the hardware PS Vita mods, so if you are into it, make sure to check out this channel, it's awesome, link is down below, with the joystick disassembly one as well. So to take apart the joystick is not as difficult as it might seem, I was more worried about breaking something, fortunately, with enough patience and gentleness, I was able to replace the joystick cap without any issues, at least I thought so, cause I couldn't test it straight away and I've moved to replace the left side buttons motherboard with d-pad and another joystick. I needed much less time, cause I already know what to do, where to pull, where to push and so on and the cap was transformed in merely 5 minutes. Now put it all back together and get ready to face the moment of truth. The hour of reckoning had arrived. Was I successful? Well, partially, cause clearly things never work out the way you want them to. And this time I've managed to invert the axis on the right joystick cause I turned the tiny plastic bit around and put it back in the wrong way. There is like a tiny bit sticking out of it and it's meant to face the outside, not the inside, so watch out in case you're gonna perform this mod, even though I wouldn't really recommend it unless you are skillful, patient and determined enough, and your heart crave for some alteration of course. Other than that, everything functioned. Well, everything except the right trigger. <laughs> I thought I haven't plugged it back in properly, however, after another dismantling and mantling, the axis on the right trigger was working correctly. No luck with the trigger though. First and quickest solution that crossed my mind was simply to swap the conductive plastic piece and I've sincerely hoped I didn't mess up the connector on the motherboard cause that would render it more or less unusable, well usable with non-functioning right trigger. Fortunately, after the swap from my other Vita, the right trigger wasn't triggering me anymore and I could finally call it a day. And what do I think of the mod? Was it worth it? Absolutely, I love it. It looks amazing and I'm happy I've decided to give it a go after such a long time. It looks very good, even without the white start, select and PS buttons, but as I've said, my eagle eyes are locked onto it. I'm calling this mission a success, even though it wasn't as straightforward and there were some complications. And I'm looking forward to any new mods I will decide to try. 
and that would be it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to not miss upcoming content check out all the links down below especially the affiliate ones to support the channel follow me on socials thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one namaste